Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It is Monday, Sarah's got the vlog exporting, so we'll get that uploading soon. I had my all my morning, Monday morning calls. It's what time is it? It's like 12.30? Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's like 1.30. 1.30. Um, busy day, early part of the week always is. Um, but Sarah's going to do something awesome and she's going to... Our OB's office to drop off all of our paperwork from our fertility clinic because we don't have any means to <laughs> fax it right now. Um, so I'm going to go drop it off and make an our first appointment there. normal baby doctor. Not an infertility specialist, but a normal baby doctor. I have my hands are full. That's very exciting. <laughs> It's okay. She's gonna be right back. This doesn't happen often where I stay with Eve and Sarah leaves. It's okay. She's gonna be right back. It's okay. She'll be so quick. She'll be so safe. Look at her ears going, trying to listen for her. It's okay. I know. So I have never been to this doctor's office before. I've actually never even been in Baldwin Park before. I thought that the doctor was in College Park, which is where we typically go get groceries. Um, but it's actually in Baldwin Park, which is on the other side. And honestly, it's like a mini celebration. Like I knew it existed, but I didn't realize how cute it was. The neighborhood is so nice. Um, I just picked up the paperwork. I made an appointment um, to have an ultrasound and an NT scan with, um, with our doctor. And so, yeah, I feel good. The office was really nice. And um, I'm gonna head back home. It really is only like 15 minutes away, but on my way back, I'm gonna try and show you what I mean by like it being a mini celebration. My directions took me to Colonial Drive instead of through the neighborhood. So next time we'll have to do more of a tour when Peter is with me. Excuse Peter's intense music in the background, um, but we are making vegan cauliflower <laughs> buffalo wings tonight. Why do these have to take so long? I'm watching the teaser for World Pan Up Challenge. Okay. Yeah. We are preheating the oven to 450. And now I just chopped up the cauliflower, washed cauliflower, into bite-sized pieces. I am going off of an online recipe for these, so I'll link that below as well. Um, then you add in together the water, flour, garlic powder. I don't have onion powder, which is what it calls for, but I have like a cajun -y spice that I'm gonna put in instead, and salt, and mix that all together until well combined. Okay, so then I'm gonna put the cauliflower into the batter. Um, and then once you just like mix it all together, you make sure you tap off any excess and then put it on your, um, what is this called? A baking, what is this called, Peter? Tray, a baking tray. <laughs> um, I do not have any parchment paper, so I just grease the pan and hopefully that'll be fine. But they did say to make sure that they aren't touching because they will stick together. and these go for 15 minutes and then after flip them and then another 10 minutes so I just melted a little bit of vegan butter not too much it does say you don't necessarily need it um, and then I did like a decent amount of buffalo sauce I don't think I made as much cauliflower as the recipe called for so I didn't want to do the full cup um, but we'll see if it coats it well enough and if anything, we'll add some more at the end. 
Okay, so they cooked the original 15 and then another 10 on the other side. Now I'm gonna toss them in the sauce and cook them for 20 more minutes. I know our friends Megan and Katie have made these in an air fryer before. Um, so I'm interested to see how these turn out, if they're as crispy as they might be. Um, but if you have an air fryer, try that out. All right, are you done with work? Well, I have like something running that I just need to make sure it finishes. Yeah, but you yeah. did get paper towels. My mind's going on the World Marathon Challenge fundraiser. Yeah. I haven't heard from ACS today yet, but I've been looking up like Patreon things about about uh, how to get this started and how yeah. it's going to look like and what we're going to offer. I thought that'd be a unique way for like a lot of our YouTube followers to donate and do it through Patreon. So it's like smaller increments. Yes, yeah, so five bucks a month, ten bucks a month, mm -hmm. fifty bucks a month, and you get different things for doing that on top of donating to a good cause. Yeah. I'm happy that you're able to be more my friend now that you're done with work. Peter's unloading the dishwasher and dinner is ready soon. We made our this good old fashioned family salad of romaine hearts, tomato, onion with um, olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano. It's so good. They got a little crispy on the last end, so maybe they don't need the full 20 minutes. Had some leftover sauce. We're going to dip in our salad. Sarah's going to give the oh gosh. buffalo cauliflower no. roll. Oh no. Okay. Don't drip on yourself. It's going to be so hot though. I hear a crunch. Nodding your head. They're spicy. <laughs> They're good. They're just really buffalo-y. Yeah, I love it. But I think they're really buffalo-y because I took, like, that was a big dunk. Like, a dunk a dunk I wonder how they are just, like, on their own. Still spicy or no? Mm-hmm. Still got the kick, but not, I think that was from the sauce. Whew. So this has been one of those movies that I feel like Sarah and I are going to love. And... I've just never given it a shot, so we're gonna fold some laundry and give this Julie and Julia, or Julia and Julia, Julie and Julia, we're gonna give it a shot. We just opened up our second to last bottle of progesterone and oil. Getting there. Um, I don't know truly what's gotten into her, but Sarah, Eve is just sitting there, spending time, like, just sitting next to you while you fold. She's a different dog right now. She's gotta protect your friend. Did you realize that this was the movie what it was? No. <laughs> Neither did I. It's so good so far. I did not realize it happened at different times. Yeah, and Amy Adams has a blog that she's starting. Well, she's well on well, her she, way. Yeah, she's well on her way. Oh, uh, I just like Julia's. We're like 30 minutes in and we absolutely love it. I want chocolate cake. And all the butter. <laughs> Are you just tickled by this movie? I love it. We do. <laughs> the movie's over. It was so good. We loved it. So we got a delivery today that we did not know was coming. And it was a book. A book. From my sister, Jenna. Genevieve. That's not her real name, but no, her, name is, her. her name is Jenna. And it's a book called... Can you read backwards? To the moon and back for you. Ah. Art is by E. G. Keller and words by Amelia Beckery. Sir Beckery Sir Hand. And I actually had this in our Amazon because it just came out like a month ago, I think, or two months ago. It was in our Amazon cart because I watched Ryan Sirhan on YouTube, and he would occasionally drop hints about how him and his wife had to do IVF. Ah. Mm -hmm. Let me get this pup. <laughs> She barks at you and then when you get up, she goes under the table. She knows I'm not going to go down there and get her. Here is the front cover. Peter and I are going to read it together. Alright, it's a super good book. I just want to show you one page and then it's like super beautiful, super cute, and very like important to people who go through infertility. Or any trials to become a parent. Yes. So on this page it says, I went to the moon and back for you. And if you look, you can see... There's the mom reaching for the baby on the star by the moon, but if you look, 
and all the people that helped the parent go to the moon and back, they're all like family members, aunts, uncles, grandparents, doctors. You see a bunch of different lab coats throughout the whole page, and it's very true. There's many, 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 many people, whether it's doctor, nurses, family, loved ones, friends, they get you to go to the moon and back for your baby. And sometimes even dogs. And sometimes even dogs. <laughs> Just like, stop looking at me. I have two incredible things to say. One, this was by far the loneliest run I've ever been on at Winter Park. And that is a great thing. I have seen a few people, but compared to my runs the last week and the week before, really good job, Winter Park. Really good job. Other, other thing, super exciting. Today is day one. Today begins my training. And I don't even mean my training for Chicago Marathon. Today is day one. This is the first set of miles I'm putting on my body to get ready for. 183 miles in 168 hours. November 2021, World Marathon Challenge. Seven marathons, seven days. So my training needs to begin now, like right now. So, and it's gonna be different than any other training I've ever done. And I can't wait to share with you guys a lot more strength training, cross training. And from what the early readings I've done on people who have done this, they've actually not done high mileage. It's been all about overall body training and conditioning. So that'll be interesting. But it's Florida humid again. It's 80 degrees right now at 10 o'clock. I gotta get home before curfew starts at 11. Um, oh, it feels like Florida. Oh, it's not coming up on my cell phone. But there's a bunch of chalk art in front of us. It says, have courage, be kind. You can kind of see it. Thank you for social distancing. Stay healthy. You are amazing. We are in this together. That is what we need in the world right now. All right, I'm home. I am cleaned up. Sarah didn't even ask like why, because it's about 11 o'clock, which is pretty late for a work night. Um, we could just go straight to bed, but I was like, all right, yesterday or about time. She said about time, so we're about to kick on about time. We watched the latest Currently Hannah, um, where she visited Kyoto, so that was a good vlog. Quick little 10 minute interjection. Now we're gonna relax and watch about time. We're probably both gonna fall asleep on the couch during this, but my run went well for it, like me not running for a week. I think it was a successful run. Getting out there and just doing it was the was the goal. No speeds, no feelings, no nothing. Just getting out there and doing it. I always knew we were a fairly odd family. Oh yeah. First there was me. Too tall, too skinny, too Watch orange. this movie. It's the greatest. My mom was lovely, but not like other moms. Ho, ho, ho. It is March 30th. My sister's birthday. And almost the end of March. So this quote is by none other than Mother Teresa. Without patience, we will learn less in life. We will see less. We will feel less. We will hear less. Ironically, rush and more usually mean less. Mother Teresa. Ooh, deep. You are correct in your assumptions. This is a face of a man who fell asleep on his couch hours ago. It's now two in the morning. It was a good day. Tomorrow's gonna be a better day. Um, I just got the information sent to the World Marathon Challenge, so... Exciting, but more to come for that tomorrow. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>